So I just keep a laundry list of tips and tricks that I show whenever I need to show tips and tricks. Let's go to classic and let's talk about virtual copies. Virtual copies is one of my favorite things about Lightroom Classic, and it's one of the things I miss in Lightroom, and that is the ability to create what's called a virtual copy. What's a virtual copy? A virtual copy is just as the name implies. It's a copy of the photo that doesn't take up any space. So when I hit virtual copy, it makes that virtual copy of her. And you can always tell the virtual copy, here's a tip, it's the one with the dog ear page. So it's like the little page flipped up on the corner. That's how I visually know that's a virtual copy. It takes up no space. It also says the word copy and it's a virtual copy. So now what does that mean? That means I can do anything to this photo without it affecting the original. So if I go into the develop module and I say, hey, make this a black and white and let's go ahead and crop it and let's recompose it like that and like that. And so now that's my new photo. And when I get out of that, that happened to that photo, did not change the original. So if I make another virtual copy, command quote, uh, that'll make another virtual copy and I can do anything I want to that one. So I can go back to the develop module and I can um, brighten that photo up quite a bit or darken it quite a bit, you choose. I can also mask it and I can add a people mask to it. That's detecting the person. And if there's only one person, there she is. Okay, so let's go in. And I can say that I want her facial skin, her body skin, her eyebrows, her eye sclera, her iris and pupils, her lips, her teeth, her hair, her hair, and basically everything except her clothes. I'll create one mask of that. And now I can go ahead and just say, hey, brighten her up. So basically darken the background, but add more exposure to her. So that way you can play around and have different masks just for different things. Okay, but anyway, the whole point of this was that that virtual copy did not affect the original, did not affect the other virtual copy. Now, if I take this original into Photoshop and make some drastic changes to it, then that has no choice. Uh, if I edit the original, it has no choice but to affect the virtual copies. Because this is a raw file, I can't edit the original, so it would still work. All right, so that's virtual copy. Like I said, there's no virtual copy inside of Lightroom, but both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom have this feature. So let's go to Lightroom, and let's say that I switch to one of these photos. Let's go to this one. And let's say I wanna make some changes to that photo. Well, there's something called, there's something called, oh, sorry, that's why I'm not in the cloud, there we go. There is something called versions. And versions only work if the image is in the cloud. So in this case, I have versions. And so for example, I can create a different edit on this photo. Let's go to the different edit. And let's hit auto and let's uh, change exposure. I'm just making things drastically different so you can see them. Let's make that car really blue. Again, things I wouldn't normally do, but now I can go in and I can say, create a new version of this. So let's, it made an auto version named, there we go, create a new version. And I'm gonna just gonna call it blue. All right, so now I made a blue version. I always have the original to go back to. I have the blue version. So this is similar to virtual copy and that you can make as many versions as you want. And it's really just a version of the edit. So let's say that I wanna make this black and white now. And I now wanna go back to the versions and I wanna create a new version called BMW, BW black and white. So I have the original, I have the blue one, I have the black and white one, and this just allows me to quickly get to an edit without having to manage multiple icons. And, but I can only see one edit at a time. So virtual copies, I can see all three edits. I can select all three files and export all three files out together. But with versions, you can only output the one version you're looking at. So I can, I'll put that one, I'll put that one, I'll put this one, but I can only output one at a time. Whereas with virtual copies, I can output as many as I need. And Lightroom Classic has versions as well. So if I go to this one and I make some changes to it, let's say again, we just bring the saturation down. All right, make it black and white that way. All right, so now if I go to, um, I'm in my develop module. If I go over here to, snapshots so in lightroom classic they're called snapshots 
I create a snapshot and I call this one BW for black and white. And I always have that snapshot to go back to. So even if I reset this, if I reset the edit, I still have the black and white version of that to go back to. And I can see the white balance also got reset on that. So that is the difference between snapshots and versions are technically the same thing. It's just they're called snapshots and classic versions in Lightroom. But they do the same thing because you don't have virtual copies in Lightroom. Elevate your photo editing skills at the Kelby One Lightroom Conference. Learn from the experts and transform your photography. Sign up at kelbyonelive.com.